Hey guys, Problem 1701 here, and today I'm asking the question, what do you think is the best Weeping Angels episode in Doctor Who? And for me, I still think it's hands down Blink. I like Blink a lot. I know it's not a traditional episode. It might not be the best first episode to show someone of Doctor Who, but I think it's really good. I think it builds atmosphere. I think it builds tension. I think Carrie does a really good job as Sally Sparrow. I think the entire cast is good. Um, since it's pretty much the guest cast we're seeing most of the story, I think they all do a really good job. The guy playing the brother, I'm kind of ant on. But other than that, everyone does a really good job. <laughs> when we do see Martha and, and David briefly, they're great. I love... The mystery of why the Tenth Doctor is on the DVD and seeing how that resolves at the end is such a great scene. I love how well it's directed. I love the Weeping Angels. I think they're just a fascinating concept. Once again, Moffat taking something normal and everyday, like statues in this case, and making them dangerous and deadly, putting a Doctor Who spin on them uh, to where, you know, it might not be every statue, any statue. Uh, I like that. I love when Doctor Who does that, when it makes the ordinary dangerous. One thing I even like, of course, about the Vashon and Arata, making shadows deadly, and even Sleep No More, which isn't the best Doctor Who episode ever, the fact it makes, you know, the dust in your eyes from when you're sleeping deadly. That's creative and impressive, and I love that concept. And the Weeping Angels pull it off quite possibly the best. Uh, it's really well done. I enjoy the sound effects and incidental music in it, the way it builds tension so much in that final scene when they're starting to realize what's going on. Uh, and that's all I've got. I don't know what stopped you talking, but I can guess they're coming. I like that. I can rewind it a bit. What good would that do? I love that whole bit right there, the very tiny whininess of this episode. Stephen Moffat understands better than most that the Doctor is a time traveler. And oftentimes uses that to good effect. Sometimes he's a little too clever for his own good. But especially in the Russell T. Davis era, he uses that to very good effect, as he does in Blink. Now, again, the Weeping Angels suffer from, you know, what episodes really count as Weeping Angel episodes, because a lot of times in Modern Who, well-known villains show up in episodes where they're just kind of there... You know, kind of like the Weeping Angels showing up in Time of the Doctor, or a Weeping Angel showing up in Revolution of the Daleks, or the Daleks showing up maybe at the beginning of an episode, like uh, the end of Series 6, you know. A lot of times, or the Suntarans kind of showing up briefly and stuff, a lot of times you'll have a kind of famous Doctor Who villain in a story, but it's not really a that villain story, so it kind of muddies the waters a bit. Uh, I did like the Flesh and Stone two-parter. Probably my second favorite with the Angels. I think it's really good. Uh, it's definitely a very different take than Blink, and I will definitely praise it for being different instead of just trying to retread Blink. It does its own thing. I think it's good. I think Matt Smith does a really good job in it, and River Song hasn't become bothersome yet. Um, I didn't really like Time of Angels. I thought that's kind of where they jumped the shark, and I think a lot of people will agree with me on that. I just... Like, there, there's a good idea there, but I just don't think it works, especially the Statue of Liberty part. That's, very, that's really stupid. I can't remember if they had another real episode that's just focused on them all the way up to um, Village of the Angels, did they? I don't remember right off. Village of the Angels is pretty good. It suffers from being roped in with flocks. If it, if it had been its own standalone thing, I think I would have enjoyed it because it, it does, it's, it's a well-written script. I like uh, who, the person who wrote it. Uh, I think it was a woman who wrote that one because um, I think she also did The Haunting of Villa Diadoti, and I like that one a lot. Uh, so Village of the Angels is written well. It's got some great dialogue. It's cast well. The director who directed it does a phenomenal job with 95% of it. Uh, I like, of course, Jericho as a character and the actor playing him. Uh, some of the camera work is really impressive in this as well. Like when Jericho gets sent into the past, the way you see the dust go inside, that's a beautiful camera shot. Uh, I like it being at night. Uh, I like how it gets... What is, is it? Who is that? Dan and Yaz, the way 
the way it shows them getting sent to the past, that whole sequence is really good. Uh, stuff going on in the house, the angel almost coming out of the paper on fire. There's a lot of really good directorial work going on and a lot of really good camera work going on and lighting and tension. I don't like the ending with the doctor turning into an angel because one, it's just stupid. It's, it's really stupid. It's so stupid. Two, the actual shot of her turning looks terrible. That is actually done very, very poorly. The camera swinging around is pretty neat, but it looks so CGI heavy that it just looks bad, especially since it doesn't resolve in a good way. You find out they were really just a taxi service. It's so anticlimactic when you see that resolve. But other than the ending, it's really, really good. But my favorite is still Blink. Would I like to see the angels come back? Yes. Uh, maybe not right away. Maybe Gatla's second or third season, but I would like to see another episode with the Angels. Maybe another episode that's Dr. Light, so the part of the people dealing with it don't quite know what to do yet. He kind of shows up at the end to help out or something. I don't know. So I want to know what your favorite Weeping Angels episode is, which one you think is the best, or if there's a difference between the two. So comment down below and let me know. And what you think of the Weeping Angels as a whole? Do you think they're still a really deadly threat, or do you think they've been watered down a little too much? Uh, other things to do, don't forget to click the like button and the subscribe button. That helps me out. I certainly appreciate it. I am trying to reach 1,000 subscribers this year, so we're slowly working towards that. I also have a Patreon if you like what I do and would like to support what I do. Several different tiers there with all sorts of fun little rewards like early access, sometimes very early access, to upcoming videos and exclusive videos as well. I want to give a shout out to some of my top tier patrons, Stephen Crane, uh, Finn Perkins, and Colin Coney. I appreciate their support as I do the support of all of my patrons. I also have a P.O. box if there's anything you would like to send me to look at and review. And I also have a uh, link to my Amazon wish list there as well. Most importantly, though, thank you for watching.